Welcome to my kitchen, you guys. This is a Sunday Southern classic. Meatloaf, rice, and carrots. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we got is happening down here. So join me down at the counter. So we got about three pounds of ground beef. These are everything, these are the ingredients, everything we're gonna be adding to our meatloaf. We're gonna actually do two separate meatloaf, you guys. One with onion and All one right, without. So we have our meat here. We got about three pounds, three and a half pounds of ground beef. We're gonna set this aside. What we first wanna do is soak our bread in milk. So we have our milk. about a half a cup a half a cup and then we're just gonna take and just soak it and mush it mush it real good this is the second um, meatloaf recipe I have on my channel the first one is an eggless one so if you guys are looking for something without eggs go check out that recipe okay. and once you have it like this consistency now we want to add our eggs. We're going to take two raw eggs. Okay. And we're going to mix this up too. All right, so now we're gonna take this mixture, set it aside. Now we're gonna get to our ground beef. Now these are all the seasonings we're gonna add, and um, you can add as per your taste bud. I'm gonna be putting some ground uh, onion powder in here. Some adobo because we're not going to use salt so i'll use adobo it's got a little seasoning salt taste to it we have our garlic pepper we have some basil yes basil We have some Worcestershire sauce. Some garlic powder. We have some ketchup. And we have some some mustard that I added some water to. We'll use all of that. Sounds like about maybe two tablespoons of, two tables, tablespoons of mustard with about the same equivalent with the water added to the mustard. This was not pictured, but I always put steak seasoning in my meats, in my, ground meats all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna oh put some black pepper can't forget the black pepper and now we're gonna get it all mixed up
now we're gonna add our bread, egg, and milk mixture. Now what we're gonna do, because uh, before I'm gonna do, um, go ahead and put my minced onion in here, but before I do that, I'm gonna take out a portion of it because I'm gonna be making some, and my brother's gonna be eating it, but he doesn't eat the onions. The onion flavor seems to be okay. So I'm gonna take about this much out for him. Make him a little mini meatloaf. I'll just sit that in here for now. set this much aside and then I'll go ahead and add add my minced onion to this and go ahead and get this mixed in normally I would put raw fresh onions in here but I decided to go ahead and use my um, dried onion. Okay. Now we have our dish over here, and we're just gonna pour it in in our casserole dish. And you don't need a loaf pan to make a loaf of meatloaf. You just shape it the way you want to shape it. Make sure it's solid. Make sure your loaf is solid. And then we make a little well here. Make a little well. What we're gonna do with that well is we're gonna add our ketchup mix mixture on top of there in that well. All right, so let's get that ketchup mixture made up. All right, so we go ahead and make up our our sauce for our meatloaves. All right, so we're gonna add our ketchup. some Worcestershire sauce. And now we're gonna add some brown sugar, about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then all we're gonna do now is just mix it up. Go ahead and put this on our meatloaf. 
We're gonna bake this in an oven, uncovered. For one hour. And then you can check it and make sure it's done at that time. If it needs to cook a little longer, give it a couple more minutes. That's fine too. Okay. So we have this ready to go into the oven. And I will go ahead and make up the little mini loaf. Remember the mini loaf here? I'll go ahead and make that up. And this is the one that does not have the onions in it. And we're gonna still do the little well. Okay. And we're gonna finish it up with our red sauce, our ketchup. So there you have it. Let's get it in the stove. I'll show you a view of it before I put it in the oven. All right, you guys, this is what it's looking at now. It's been in the oven for an hour. And what we're going to do is we're going to strain all that excess uh, fat that built up from the meatloaf. All right, so we got the meat back in the oven. Oil has been drained. And we're going to let it cook for another 15 minutes. And that's after it's been in the oven for an hour. All right, so I pulled the smaller one out. And the larger one is going to continue to bake for those full 15 minutes. Look at that y'all. Look at that. All right. Out of the oven, ready to be cut. And it's your Southern, Southern meatloaf y'all made easy. No loaf pan was used for this. We gonna serve this up on a plate and we gonna mukbang this thing. So y'all go ahead and check out our mukbang. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and share, share, share. And if you decide you wanna make this easy, simple, delicious meatloaf, hit me up in the comment section below and let me know. Oh yeah. Promo SEK, Shella Creations Way Cooking Show is where this is being prepared. We're going to mukbang it on Promo SEK Reality TV and Shella and Frank. So go over, check out those channels, and let's go ahead and try this out.
What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shola and Frank. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, Husband and Wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out. Challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you, so come on over.